Well, earnings season now in high gear, as you know, and the highly anticipated OPEC meeting, as we mentioned, is this weekend. So what matters more, oil or earnings? Our Steve Grosso has got the answer. It's, Steve, it's you know, saunter over to that swagger for that. My, this, was, this was my wedding song. That's so fantastic. If, if you look at this, we, we talked about it, which matters more, earnings or oil. And I think this uh, chart, everyone talks about the correlation, but I think this chart really exposes it pretty well. If you look at this, we have oil here. You, you see back to the uh, highs here, 2134. Where was oil? 6072. So you know that's what you're eyeballing there. I don't think we get there anytime soon. But if you look here, you wind up seeing the leading, leading basically. Oil winds up leading the S&P. You see this drops, the, the S&P takes a little bit longer to drop. You see a little bit of a lag there. You see it rally, same type of thing. So what we're shooting for in the S&P is this number right here. That's the real resistance. Because as we're climbing, when you look at the S&P, unless we breach or cross over this powerful enough, then we've just made another lower high in the S&P cash. We don't want to do that or else this is all for not. Focus in. Where did you see oil? Where did you see the S&P? 47.90. Tim and I have had a long-going debate whether or not we cross over that $50 mark in oil. I don't think we do so. So I think that's the lid on, on the market. I think that's the lid on oil. But you also have a hell of a trading range here to trade against. So if you want to look here, this is the S&P cash. These are the numbers. Key in on that. This is my one, my number, the most important number. That's flat on year. So if you don't have the stomach to watch this thing trade all the way down to the 200-day moving average, this is where you bail on the market. This is where you buy it. Unless we break through here, then you bail, and then you get BK's market. And I think we visit 1865 again in the S&P if we breach the 200-day moving average 2014 to the downside. Okay, so we trade against flat on the year up through 2116 or so. That's a, those are the bottom line levels. Correct. All right, so Tim, where do you where do you stand on that? I mean, we had Mark go on yesterday saying, you know what, we could go up to 2100, but we usually trade, as Grosso had mentioned, to an S&P valuation of a P of about 18, and so that's going to hold. So that's going to keep us from going much higher. Well, I, I, look, I, I think the S&P is going to trade somewhat sideways from here. I think actually, though, the the correlations are going to break apart because you know, so Steve and I do disagree on oil, and my word of the day is is convalescence. I've said it already like three times. You know, you get a word and you can't get away from it. How many C's? Right. How many um, C's? So yeah. convalescence, Four. which basically <laughs> is is a recovery from a dreadful illness in the medical sense, or it can be applied to really anything. And and there's a slow, gradual recovery. That's what's going on in oil. Uh, we got a rig count out today. Tim, spell said, it you know, really quick. Uh, con C O N V Convo. All right, it's a Friday show. Go ahead. E Take all time S C E N C E. Yes. Ding, 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 um, ding, ding. So you're at a place here. Rig counts was you're back to uh, October of 09 on U.S. rig counts. I think oil doesn't need to trade that much higher from here. I agree. 50 is a tough hurdle to climb in the short run. It will get over there. But I, what I'm saying is, I think the S&P is not tethered to oil anymore. Okay. Uh, in the same way it has been. Yeah. What Baker Hughes rig count. Tim mentioned. I mean, it's down to 351. I think that that's an incredible number, which is very bullish for oil. But then, listen, Sunday is, to, to me, a huge wild card, and it's manifesting itself in this OVX, which spiked today. So I do think oil and the S&P will trade in unison for a while. Yeah, for me, I, I, I absolutely think that. And, if, you know, if you look at the rig count has dropped precipitously, but production really hasn't. It started to a little bit, but it's still kind of flatlined. We're off about a million barrels from a year ago, yet rig counts are down and a half. The, new, the rigs that they have on are pumping an awful lot of oil. And then if I look back to the last time that we had even production cuts from Saudi Arabia, which was way back in the 80s, Grasso remembers this time. Uh, but I would say when you look at what happened to oil and Saudi production, they went down together. They went down together. So I think oil goes lower, much lower.